Now is that a nice RC or what? How do you like the size of my box? Now that is the sign of a new build video. Oh wait, I forgot a box. Okay. Are you guys ready for a sweet build video? Let's get started. We'll start out with the main box here. We'll get go through all this stuff. I still got a few parts coming in on the way, so we'll add those in the build later on. For now, let's get to the big box. All right, you guys don't even know how excited I am for this. I have been waiting forever to do a build video of this particular vehicle. I've already opened up the box, but uh, last time. plenty of bubble wrap. You can already see what it is. Bag of stuff and a foam packaged bag. Um, put those to the side here. Get rid of this box. Check that out. Hold on, let me get behind the camera here. Check that out. Axial SCX10 2012 Jeep Lang Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. One tenth scale. Oh god. One tenth scale. This is a 4x4 machine, my friends. And I am going to build it. It's for off road. Mountains, rocky terrain, a jeep body. This is way too close. A jeep body with heavy duty locking axles, heavy duty axles, aluminum shocks. Check that out. A protected radio box, adjustable body posts, a spare tire, spare tire carrier. Uh, removable hard top. I should really make these all the same way so you don't have to keep flipping the box around on camera. Alright. Transmission. Slipper clutch. Protective gear cover. And uh, WB8 wild board drive staffs. And the uh, steel C channel chassis. Just like a real car. Let's open this up. I already took, I already removed the seals on the bottom, but I have not yet taken anything out of it. Go ahead, take the trail, let's travel. I like that. Here. That's probably too close. Bag of stuff. It's pretty heavy. I like that. Aluminum. Put that to the side. Alright, um, uh, here. Looks like uh, roll cage and cage stuff. You got your bumpers in here, poison bumpers, spare tire carrier. Nice. Wheels. These are just, you have to glue them on with tire glue. I'm not, I'm not gonna be using these actually. I'm gonna be using a separate wheel, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. bag of plastics. It's, oh, I see, I see. It's like uh, axles and links and stuff. Rock rails. Uh, spur gear cover. That kind of stuff. These are 
What are these? These are um, like eyelets and different kind of hardware and stuff. And um, let's see. Hard body top. This is just the cover of it. I presume this is a windshield. And I don't know what these are yet. We'll find out. Check that out. No. Check that out. That is a sweet body. Uh, you probably guys probably can't see it too well, but when I get it painted, you'll be able to see. That is there. Let's let's clean this up a little so you guys can, can, can see stuff. Alright, that's a little bit better. You can see the body in the background. I haven't mounted it or any mounted it or anything. I just put them on top of each other. What else is in the box? Frame rails. Check that out. You got some gates, some um what is this? Grease. Uh those are battery straps. Massive bottle of 30 weight oil. That's just huge. Ridiculously huge. And decals. Who doesn't like these? These are awesome. Whoa, and then you got the manual and stuff in here. And then, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five tires. <laughs> Okay, let's get this out of the way, move on to the next box. Alright, so in the next box we have the majority of the electronics. So for the ESC or elect electronic speed control, otherwise known as the brain of the vehicle, we have a Tekken FXR rock crawler system paired with a Tekken 35 turn heavy duty motor. This is going to really give me the wheel speed and the torque to climb up rocks as well as the wheel speed with the 35 turn to get me out of the mud and stuff. For the BEC or the battery elimination circuit, I've gone with the Castle Creations BEC 10 amp and that will just help distribute the power when I'm turning the tires and running the motor. For the servo, I've gone with a high tech which is a fairly popular brand of servo. I've gone with the HS5646 waterproof, HV waterproof high torque servo. I believe this has, this has 156 ounces of torque on a 6 volt coming from the BR, coming from the receiver. Or if you, yeah, so it's going to have about 150, 160 ounces of torque. That's pretty, that's all I need. And then we have our long strip of Dean's plugs to connect everything together. Alright, so in the next box, more packing stuff. Toss that to the side. Whoa, this is awesome. Oh my god, this is cool. Oh, you guys want to see too? Oh yeah, I'll probably do. Check this out, if I can even get it out of the box. Check that out. Spectrum DX4S. This is a four channel 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter along with the receiver using DSMR technology. And that's really going to give me no interference or anything. It's going to be great for the trail. You can add telemetry. It has a, uh, what's that? It has a, a LED screen and stuff and uh, three grip sizes and uh, assignable switches. So, let's open her up. How I got a paper cut? <laughs> or should I say a cardboard cut? This probably isn't the best. But I'll put it like that. You got your stickers, instruction manual. I'm gonna have to look through that. But check that out. That that's really nice in my hand and stuff. Nice wheel. 
nice, very nice throttle. DX Forest. I really like how these ones are black. Some of the other Spectrum receivers, their uh, or transmitters, they're actually like this gray color, and I don't like that too much. But this one is black, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's it's a very sleek design. You have a rolling button thing here, and another one here, and then these are all switches here, right there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then also in the box you have a Spectrum 2.4 gigahertz SR410 no, SR410 uh, receiver, and then you have this black box here which, if I'm not mistaken, includes the grips, yep, yep, the grips are right here. And what else? Hey look, batteries, they even give you four batteries, so you can just start using it as soon as you get it. That's pretty nice. Alright, I'll put her back in the box, like such. Because I'm not going to need it until later in the build. And, uh, yeah, let's continue. Alright, so, um, here we go. This is just a box from Amazon. Here we have Lumax LX1908, and that's going to be the grease. I'm not going to use the grease supplied in the kit. I'm going to be using this. So, um... This is uh, highly water resistant and it's it's good for going in water and stuff. And to go with this massive thing that I probably won't ever finish. Oh, big box. Get that out of the way. To go with this, look at this massive box. I have like a pile of junk behind me. Check that out. Gun, grease. And that way I just plug this in there and I can squirt it. And then uh, in the places where I need it, I need it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice. Alright, so this next box, or package actually, is from. Now, RC four wheel drive that would focus. There we go. And these are six piece bead lock. These are actual bead locks, unlike the ones that come in the kit. And then, uh, yeah, six piece bead locks. Part number Z W 130. Alright. And then also. Ordered down the single version so that I have one for the spare pack. That's nice. And I already opened one of these just to see if it was right. One thing about these though, they don't come with hexes in them. You have to buy a separate thing. So I have to order that. It's like 10 bucks or something. I'll order that right away. Put those off to the side, and let's move on to the next package. Alright, in this package, we have uh, some paint, which is in black. What else? Package, we have paint, which comes in a plastic bag for some reason. Paint, right there. So you can kind of see the color scheme I'm going for. I'm going to be adding some cool effects to that though, hopefully, if my painting skills will allow it. And I've never painted anything, so. And then here we go. Bow, Plasti Dip in this large package here. Plasti Dip is um, one I'm going to use to waterproof most of the electronics that aren't waterproof. Like this servo, which is waterproof. I'm probably going to be using it on this FXR, which is not waterproof. Plastic dip, waterproof. That's pretty nice, eh? Alright. Alright, guys, are you excited or what? I'm starting the 
build, and this is gonna be epic. All the way from the included Maxis Trepador tires, which I think just look pretty sick, and there's no need to upgrade them just yet, to the RC four-wheel drive beadlock six-piece rims, to the Tekken powerhouse FXR system, to the bearing grease, and the Dean's Ultra plugs here, to the Tamiya paints, Casual Creations BEC, plastic dip to waterproof things, <laughs> uh, high tech HS 5646 waterproof servo, Spectrum DX4S 4 channel with telemetry and other things, <laughs> uh, transmitter to the massive, like 20 pound grease gun up here, all the way to the Shining Jewel of them all, the Axial SCX-10 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. This is going to be an epic build, my friends, so make sure to subscribe and uh, like and comment of what you want to see, and uh, maybe you'll just see it. Alright, this is the Maniac, signing out. Make sure to subscribe, because it's going to be a pretty epic build. Remember, I still got things on the way. So, bye.